hello and uh, welcome. I'm Toby Engineer and <clears throat> I thought I'd just record a little video again just to let you know what went on at the uh, VAIC meet at BBC Manchester today. Um, a big hello and thank you to everyone who turned up. Um, I mentioned Whip It Up, Gords. Clint, Wit, Motorheaded. Did you enjoy the coffee, sir? Glad you did. Um, and everyone else, some guys from UKV turned up as well. Um, it didn't quite go as planned. Um, we all met up on the car park, went down there, um, and we stood around for a good 40 minutes or so. Um, and no one took any notice of us or nothing. We stood around, we chatted, we had a, you know, we had a nice time talking and went and got some coffee, what have you. Um, but basically no one took any notice. The, um, no reporters, no BBC staff, nothing. Um, then someone had the idea that we should go a bit close to the doors. Um, so we, well, we, we sidled over in an innocent fashion, shall we say. Um, we were going to sidle over sort of slowly and edge towards the doors. Um, needless to say, that wasn't quite what happened. Actually, it ended up... Um, <clears throat> basically, we should have been on horses with the 7th Cavalry flag. <laughs> it looked a bit like Charge of the Light Brigade. We all just headed for the door at the same time. Um, and within about six or seven minutes of getting to the door, um, security turned up. Now, it turns out that Salford Keys is actually owned by Peel Holdings. And none of us had got permission from Peel Holdings to hold a demonstration, protest, meeting, whatever. Um, now there are a couple of security guys turned up. Um, just a regular security guard. Um, very nice Asian gentleman. Hello and I hope you're enjoying the ego if you actually ever watch this. Um, and one was the site security manager. Um, he was very nice. You know, he wasn't aggressive or anything like that. Um, but he did point out pretty much from the start that he was probably going to ask, to ask us to leave. Um, which is fair enough, private property, we didn't have permission, blah blah blah. Um, he was kind enough to wander off and leave, leave us actually stood in front of the BBC for another 10 or 15 minutes while he went and got the information for... Peel Holdings, who we email address, who we contact to um, get permission if we decide to hold another vape meat protest, whatever, outside there. Um, but in the end, he asked us to leave, and we sort of well, we, we shuffled off aimlessly. Um, I'm not sure if we got our points across. If we've got anybody to take notice of, I have no idea whatsoever. Um, it's one of those things that we turned up, we tried. We've done as much as we could. Um, I do wish we'd got some more attention, but there were very, very few people about. I really think we would have been better at another site. It's not to denigrate anybody who attended. Everybody did a great job. They all turned up. We all, you know, we all were there. We attended. Um, but we didn't get much attention, which is a shame. We tried. Um, other things I want to mention on this video, um, just for the sake of mentioning them really. Um, 
there isn't much that needs to be said. Um, a few juices I'm enjoying. A few plans I'm hoping. Now I've got the nice shiny new laptop to produce videos like this on. Um, I'm hoping to do a few more of them. Um, if Dexter ever recovers enough financially to do another juice challenge I will probably be involved with that. Um, I'm hoping to get myself a pipe mod. I would like a nice e-pipe. Um, I think something from Limelight, probably the spring crocus shape with the uh, wooden stainless um, angled drip tip, probably. Um, I really like the look of those. I like the stuff from Mythical Fabrications, but I don't like the little leather cover. I'm not keen on that. Um, and the metal and stone ones are a bit too expensive at the moment. Um, but I do, I do like the look of the uh, stuff from Limelight Mechanics, so I'll probably get one of those. Um, hopefully there'll be a Northwest vape beat soon. I'm looking forward to meeting the rest of you there. Um, I promise not to eat all the pies. Genuinely, I really won't eat all the pies. I'm supposed to be on a diet. Not sure how I'm doing. Um, I really do have to. I think I really do need to at least try and diet. Um, it probably won't work. I like my food too much. Um, although these things are supposed to help you lose weight by suppressing your appetite. Um, if this is suppressing your appetite, God knows what I'd happen if I wasn't using it. Oh, terrible, terrible thought. Actually, I'd probably develop... <clears throat> I'd probably develop my own gravity field. Uh, people would start to orbit around me. It's really not, really not good. Um, yeah, if anybody has any questions on what went on at the vape meet today, um, I seem to have put myself in the position of being responsible um, because the security guard, you know, the security manager wanted names and me and I think it was Gords rather stupidly gave him our names. Um, so it looks like we are now responsible. That's not something you normally apply to me. No, no, not, not normally. Um, well, anyway. Um, thanks for listening and I will see you again soon and hopefully I'll start taking the time to do juice reviews or at least my opinions on juice. I'm hardly sure I can call myself a reviewer. I'm, I'm no Todd after all. Um, but whenever I get a new bit of gear or new juice I will start producing a little video and I will probably set up my own YouTube channel as everybody and the brother seems to do these days. In fact I already have a YouTube channel but I will start making it public for people to watch my inane ramblings on. Well thank you and goodbye from me and happy vaping.